Tekla Gyorgis II, King of Kings of Ethiopia, 1868-1872 Tekla Gyorgis II, the dual dynastic King of Kings of Ethiopia from 1868 to 1872, was born Prince Gobazi Gabra Medin in 1836, the son of Wakshum, King of Wak province of the Zagwe line, Gabra Medin and Princess Aichish Tadla, the daughter of Prince Tajazmash Tadla Hailu, the ruler of Lasta province and provincial heir to the throne of the Gondor Fasiladis branch of the Solomonic dynasty. We shall first revisit the origins and ancestry of Emperor Tekla Georgis, and then we shall glance over the history of his reign as King of Kings of Ethiopia, the Gondor Lasta branch of the Imperial House of Ethiopia. Fasiladis, King of Kings of Ethiopia, 1632 to 1667, of the Solomonic dynasty and builder of the Fasil Castle in Gondor begot Johannes I, who is known as Johannes the Kind or Johannes the Blessed. Johannes I begot Iyasu I, also known as Iyasu the Great, Adyam Segged, one of Ethiopia's most renowned king of kings. Iyasu the Great begot Taklaiman of the First, Johannes II, Bakafa, Daid the Third, Abitul de Gabriel, Abitul Zedingel, and many other princes and princesses. Taklaiman of the First committed patricide, to ascend the throne and was murdered in his turn a few years after becoming king of kings. He is thus known as Teklaiman of the Cursed. Abetul Zedingil, who never reigned and died before his father circa 1699, begot princesses Sahalitu and Adetu. Sahalitu gave birth to Yawarkoha with Dejazmach Gabru. Sahalitu's daughter Yawarkoha was wedded to Dejazmach Wundabawasan. About Dejazmach Wundabuasan. Dejazmach Wundabuasan, who died in 1777, was a prominent warlord and aristocratic figure in Ethiopian history during the Zemene Mesafant era of the princes. He was the governor of Lastan Begemeder of today's Gondar and one of the victorious generals in the three battles of Saba Kusa, fought in May 1771 against Teklaiman of II and Ras Mikhail Su. His valor in the Battle of Fajata awarded him his governorship of Begemedad as well as marriage to Princess Yaubida. He later married Princess Yorkoha, the descendant of King of Kings Iyasu I, and Princess Wesan Azal, daughter of Dejazma Teshatiaus Genios, who once governed Ago and Damut. When married to Yorkoha, Dejazma Chwundubos and begat Rashail Wundubos, about Rashail Wundubos and the ruler of Lasta. When King of Kings Tekla Georgis I was on a raid away from the royal city of Gondar, Ba'da Maram II was treasonously proclaimed emperor with the support of Rasul de Gabre. The Jazmach Ulda Selassie, praying to support Ba'da Maram II, secretly signaled Ras Hailu and Dabwasan for an opposition attack. Towards the end of 1795, Ras Hailu and Dabwasan defeated Ulda Gabre in battle at Falakit, marching from Lasta. Rasul Le Gabriel then retreated towards Chichoho and posed at Maria Muha, Ras Hailu's force at Agala. When Wilde Gabriel sought to retire near Sabisabar, Ras Hailu attacked and defeated him again at Tsamfagumara. Rasul Le Gabriel's force withdrew again and at Kuraza, the Orthodox monks made peace between him and Ras Hailu and Debosa. Wilde Gabriel went to Mahadera Maria Monastery while Ras Hailu marched on Gondor and summoned as Itakla Georgis I to resume the throne. Ras Hailu and Dubosan married Princess Wilet Exheir and begot the Jazmash Tedla Hailu. The Jazmash Tedla, a prince and earl of Gondor and Lasta, had become a strong warlord and fought the Yeju dynasty. Having arrived in Lasta following a battle, he would remain and beget several children, one of whom was Princess Aichish Tedla the mother of King of Kings Tekla Georgis II. During the late 18th and early 19th centuries, the King of Wak province was the great warrior Wakshum Kumfu, who was renowned for having fought great battles and repelling the invading forces of the Oromo south to north. The rulers of Wak would be his descendants until the dissolution of the monarchy in 1974. Wakshum Kumfu begot Princess Betaha, Princess Betaha's son, Wakshum Gabra Medhen, who was the ruler of Wag during the reign of King of Kings Theodos II, was the father of King of Kings Tekla Georgis II, who succeeded Theodros. 
The last of the kings of Wag of the Zagwe line was Wag Shumwasa, the father of Dr. Lij Mikhailosa. The reign of King of Kings Tekla Georgis II. During the reign of King of Kings Theodos II, Prince Gobazi Gabramedin, whose throne name will be Tekla Georgis II, was appointed as ruling prince of Lhasa province with the title of Dajazmat Earl after the death of his grandfather Dajazmat Sedlahailu. Following the execution of his father, Wakshum Gabramedin, he inherited the title of Wakshum, King of Wak province, and rebelled. While in rebellion, with the help of his mother, the Princess Aichesh, he assembled and built a military force of 60,000 men. When marching to the whereabouts of Theodos II with his large and powerful army, he faced Sogobese near Kweha, a warrior prince who had rebelled against Theodros. He defeated Sogobese and turned to Mekvela to face the latter. In that time, an enormous British force had entered to capture Atsi Theodros II, and with the help of the Jazmach Kasai Mircha, later King of Kings Johannes IV, had reached Magdala for Theodros, who had imprisoned British citizens due to a feud with Queen Victoria. Theodros' forces were dispersed and he committed suicide on the mountain of Magdala. The British forces looted the palace, took all the riches and burned all else they found. They rewarded the Jazmach Kasai Mircha, Johannes IV, with £500,000 worth of modern weaponry and other goods for his assistance and left from the land. Following the death of Az Itiodos II and with the withdrawal of the British forces from Magdala, Wakshum Gobeze was proclaimed King of Kings of Ethiopia and crowned by the Ichagi, the head of the Orthodox Church in all monasteries of Ethiopia, on June 11, 1868 in Debra Zavit, with the throne name of Takla Georgis II. He linked himself to the last independent Solomonic rulers of the Gondor branch prior to the devastating century-old era of the princes, known as Zamena Masafant, wherein the king of kings had lost their power to regional warlords and Ethiopia had begun to disintegrate. He, and based his claim on a dual dynastic royal lineage, Solomonic through his mother, from the house of king of kings Adiam Sega Yasu the Great, the grandson of King of Kings Fasiladis and Zagwe through his father, who was the last ruling heir of Wag. His assumption of the imperial throne thus symbolized the restoration of both Solomonic and Zagwe dynasties on a single throne. Tekla Georgis II's ascent to the imperial throne was also challenged by two other Solomonic princes, Rastes Atadla of Gojam and Minilik of Shah. Tekla Georgis chose to first march into Gojam and crush the forces of Dastatadla. He replaced Dastatadla as the as prince of Gojam with Lija Adal Tasamma, later King Taklaimanot, another member of Gojam's branch of the Solomonic dynasty and a cousin of Las Desta. In an attempt to appease the other Solomonic princes, Takla Georgis negotiated new dynastic marriages with the houses of Shoa and Gojam to complement his personal marriage tied to the house of Tigray. His sister, Princess Lagach Gabramidin, married Lija Adal Tasamma of Gojam to whom Tekla Georgis granted the title of Ras. With the House of Shoah, he arranged the marriage of his half-brother, Prince de Jazmach Hailu, to the daughter of Ras Dargis Halis Lassi, the uncle of King of Kings Minilik II and son of King Salas Lassi, who at the time was King of Shoah, Princess Tesemi Darge. Hailu and Tesemi would then beget a son. Prince Kasa Hailu, eventual heir to Ras Dargis Haile Selassie and senior prince of the blood during the reign of Haile Selassie I, known as Lu'ul Ras Kasa Hailu, and father of Lu'ul Ras Asrata Kasa, himself the father of his imperial highness, Prince Dr. Asfaos and Asrata. Takla Georgis II's uncles, his mother's brothers, whom he refers to as his own brothers in imperial letters, Princes Ras Meshesha Tedla, the Jazmach Sarai Tedla, the Jazmach Imar Tedla, interceded as high imperial officials and the successes in the successes of their nephew, the King of Kings Takla Georgis II. The Jazmach Imar Tedla's daughter was Princess Menanima, the maternal ancestress of Lish Tedla, myself, via my mother, Waisa Roaste, the great granddaughter of the Princess Menan. Takla Georgis immensely invested his resources on restoring Gonda, the imperial capital that had been abandoned and destroyed. He rebuilt its Orthodox churches and renovated its palaces and castles. 
It is written in his chronicle that after his ancestor, King of Kings Fasiledas, the founder of Gondor city and builder of its castle, there was no one who did for Gondor as did Emperor Tekla Georgis II. With the west and south thus appeased, Tekla Georgis then turned his attention to the northern march into Wello. He quickly routed the forces of Ali Faris, imposing his uncontested rule on all of Wello, ending that challenge to his authority. His attention then turned on his brother-in-law, the Jazmach Kasai Mircha. Kasai Mircha obtained the services of John Kirkham, whose British troops played a major role in training Kasai's army in the load of modern weaponry that the British had left them. Kasai also gained access to the Red Sea in 1870, an advantage that none of his rivals had. News had come that Kasai Mircha had entered into negotiations with the Patriarchate in Alexandria for the needed bishop to come, but that it was his intention to have this new bishop crown him instead of Tekla Georgis. Minlik remained in Shah, having decided his two rivals to fight it out. It was now imperative that Tekla Georgis defeat Kasai Mircha. Tekla Georgis stood alone against Kasai Mircha and began to ready his army of 60,000, but with much inferior military equipment, and marched to Tigray for Kasai crossing the Tekaze River in June of 1871. It is said that as Tekla Georgis and his huge army marched through Semien on his way into western Tigray, he decided to encamp at a place called Adi Arkai. Here, a hermit monk named Gabra Mariam is said to have walked up to the emperor's tent and struck it with rocks. Angry soldiers, shocked at this act, seized the hermit, brought him in front of Tekla Georgis, and demanded an explanation. The hermit gazed at Tekla Georgis and said, What I did with rocks, Kasa will do with bullets. It was a chilling prediction that angered the soldiers further. When the soldiers were to kill the hermit, Tekla Georgis II stopped them, sat in silence for a while, and then quietly told them to let the hermit go. Perhaps he decided to let the fates carry on with their course. On June 21st, the two armies met Azulau and fought a day-long battle. Although Kasai Mircha had the smaller force, they were musketmen, whereas Tekla Georgis' army was equipped with spears, swords, and matchlock guns. Tekla Georgis came off the worse, retreating to the Marab River, while Kasai Mircha took another route to out outflank Tekla Georgis and forced him into a coup de sac at Adwa. They fought the final battle at Adwa on July 11th. Tekla Georgis led a cavalry charge into the midst of Kasai Mircha's force. He was wounded and his mount killed under him. He was then captured by Kasai's army along with his generals, thousands of soldiers and camp followers. His marriage ties to Kasai Mircha and his superiority numbers did not have any fortunate outcome. The hermit Gabra Mariam's prophetic prediction had come true. Kasai and his smaller but much better equipped army defeated Tekla Georgis II at the Battle of Assa, just outside Adwa on July 11, 1871, and deposed him. Kasai was proclaimed Emperor Johannes IV, and Tekla Georgis II, along with the royal family members, was imprisoned on Amba Abagarima near Adwa. He was blinded to prevent him from escaping and reclaiming the throne. His wife, as the sister of the new king of kings, was not imprisoned, but she chose to live at Amba Abagarima Monastery with her husband until his death. Tekla Georgis II died in his monastery prison in about 1873 at the age of about 36. The widowed empress Dink Nashmircha moved to Mekale and was later remarried to the Jazmach Gavrakidan. She retained the title of Empress for the duration of her life and was close to her brother Kasai Mircha, crowned King of Kings Johannes IV.